Hey everyone, we're about halfway through our coverage of Rock of Ages at this point, a classic Justice League story. If you're new to all of this, I definitely recommend you check out this playlist in the top corner here. Otherwise, enjoy this video of yet another insane single issue of a comic that has a profound ending I can't wait to share with all of you. Before we get into it, be sure to subscribe to Comic Island for more comic book reviews. Arthur, Wally, and Kyle suddenly find their bodies thrown in a rough proximity of where their future selves should have been, and their bodies themselves are all suddenly aged by the 15 years or so it is now in the future. Aquaman finds himself in a dark and polluted ocean, plagued by monsters who cry out in the name of Darkseid. Though they are no match for the master of the sea, who is able to call a strange, mutated whale creature Arthur does not recognize. With the dark side creatures defeated, he sets out to find the others. Aquaman goes to Metropolis, which is in ruins and reeks of widespread destruction. It takes a while for him to get used to his new body, but once he does, he is able to fully take in just how far things have fallen. A sinister sequence called the Anti-Life Equation is being broadcast all over Earth, and most of mankind has fallen to its sway, becoming mindless husks that serve Darkseid without question. Aquaman is surprised to run into a very alive Wonder Woman, and with her help, they are able to find Kyle and Wally. Kyle found his body had been lost to Darkseid a long time ago. His willpower and memories from the past were able to overwrite the anti-life equation, but his body has been heavily augmented with cybernetics, and his ring is long gone. Wally is even worse. He is now older, overweight, and completely cut off from the Speed Force, meaning the group has no means of easily traveling back in time. Worse still, they are starting to lose their memories of the time-traveling events, and are starting to remember the 15 years that have happened between now and their present and the others around them are starting to remember the three of them being around for that time too, meaning that they have little time left before everyone forgets that anybody traveled in time to the future to begin with. They decide to gather what handful of superheroes are still alive and set out to use new gods technology to send the three back in time in order to save the future. In their journey, the heroes encounter Batman, who was captured 10 years ago and had been tortured ever since. In spite of this, brutal suffering, he joins them in the desperate hope they can all still somehow save the Earth. They will have to move quickly though, he's already here. In Metropolis, a portal from the planet Apocalypse called a Boom Tube opens up. On your knees for the Master! The hour has come! He has come! Who is beyond good and evil? Who is the prophet of anti-life? who is the rock, and the chain, and the lightning. All powerful, all unforgiving, all conquering. Who is your new god, now and forever? <laughs> Dark side is. 